It's time to learn more about Liam. I'm Mika Nomakai, and this is Faded Colors. Why does this place look so familiar? Like I've been here? Hmm. You looked up, and you saw a boy by a tree. You decide to approach, because in this darkness, you're unlikely to meet anyone else. Oh, it's baby Liam! Ah! You saw a boy who for some reason was as familiar to you again as this place. You saw his crying face. Did something wrong happen to him? Hey, why are you crying? Is something wrong? Or did someone hurt you? I, I... Hush, you don't have to be afraid of me. I won't hurt you. Are you sure? Everyone who sees me, it's like they want to hurt me. No, 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 I won't do anything bad. What's your problem? Oh, do you reckon this is about the time that his mum died? That would explain why he's so upset. I ran away from home. I don't want to be there, never! My mum died, and even living at my friend's house, it's too bad. After talking to the boy, you didn't want to leave him. He was so weak. Who's gonna help him if not you? So wait, did you genuinely meet him at this time? It would explain why he became so obsessed with us if we knew him as a child. Hey, what's your name? Liam. My name is Liam. That's a beautiful name. Do you really think so? Of course. It's a very beautiful name. He finally smiled. He even seemed glad to hear it. Thank you. No one has ever said that to me. Oh, Lee. He's still smiling. Hey, you want to come over? We can hang out at my house. To have tea there. Will you do it? I mean, I'm assuming I'm basically around the same age as him, right? So it won't be weird if I go around. Also, what happened to your hand, buddy? Ah, oh, you're still very sad, aren't you? I'll go and hang out with you. Let's go. Of course, Lee. Let's go. Yay! You know, I'm not a massive fan of fish, but why does it look like you've got a baby shark in your aquarium? I love it. After a time, you came. I think there is an aquarium in this house, and a pretty big one at that. Pretty cozy. Here we are at home. You can go to my room on the left for now. I'll take everything. He's sad again. Okay, I'll try to fix that. After looking around, you went to his room. Oh. Oh, apparently he hates her. Is that gonna be like a family portrait? Hmm? What's that painting? And why is it covered in paint? Okay. Maybe it just didn't like the photo or something? You sat down on the bed and started looking around. It was pretty cozy in here, but you could see the cracks in the wall. You didn't pay much attention to them. Hey. Hi, Leo. How you doing? I bought some paper and pencils. Would you mind drawing with me? Oh, well, let's give Leo a try. You started drawing with Leo. You drew different things, nature, flowers, and more. After a while, Leo touched you with trembling hands. Uh, I drew a l little something for you. Ah, oh, did you draw me a demon, Leo? I will love you forever if you did. Just please, don't criticize too much. Lee, that's very sweet. I like your drawing. Really? Ah, uh, I thought you were going to laugh just as hard. Like my friend's parents. They had a long laugh when I drew us all together. They took me in as a family. But in the end, 
I'm just as much of a stranger. And my friend keeps taking away things that are important to me. He accidentally ripped a picture of me with my real family. Or rather, when my dad was alive. You know, he's not sounding like much of a good friend. No wonder you kept running away from him earlier. I cried, and then they said it was nothing. Do you get that a lot around here? I don't think it's a good idea to bully a child. Or something. You heard someone's footsteps. I wonder who it could be. Leo, did you tell anyone that you invited me around here? I think it's a friend of mine. You'll see him. Although I don't want to. Wow, Liam has a new friend. I'm surprised I haven't seen you here before. Yeah, you could say that. What's your name? Desimus. Nice to meet you. Hey, Lee. Hey, let me show you our house. What about Lee? He's gonna be okay. Let's go. Ah, you know what? I'd feel bad if I go with Desmus. Nope, I'm hanging out with Liam. I'm sorry, but I want to stay with Liam. M me? Do you want to stay with me? Yeah, Lee. I want to stay here with you. I mean, not permanently, of course. Just you know, temporarily. You seem to be as boring as Liam. Good luck with that. I can't believe that you chose me. Before, if they had that choice, they obviously wouldn't have chosen me. And hey, Liam started to cry. You held his hands to calm him down a little. I'm so happy you stayed with me. Maybe. It doesn't matter to you, but I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, we made Liam happy. No wonder that he kidnaps us later on, huh? Well, I'm terribly sorry, Liam, but um, I'm going to have to break your heart this time. Go with Dismas. I'm glad you made the right choice. He's very boring. He doesn't even have anything to talk about. Just about the drawings. I'm more sure that he won't get anywhere in the future. Why would you say that? He's your friend. Yeah, and he's funny. If you felt that way, you wouldn't have picked me. Oh, he is adorable. He is dapper little top hat. Here's my room. You look around while I go get us some lemonade. I did the wrong thing with Liam. I hope he's not offended with me. Time passes, but Des never returned. You stood, sat and waited for it a long time, but finally decided to check it out. Did you kill Des? Huh? Are you looking for Desimus? He'll be here soon, don't worry. Liam, we need to talk. About how pathetic I am? I heard your conversation. Don't! Lee, you're wrong. You're not pathetic. I'm glad. Lee, listen to me. You are the sweetest. Don't think anything bad about yourself. What they tell you is nothing. Believe in yourself. So, th thank you so much. I'm glad you don't think badly of me. But still, where's Dismas? You put your arms around him, pulling him close to you. He snuggles up to you and closes his eyes. All is well, as planned. But what happened to Dismas? Well, considering the fact I'm still convinced you just committed a murder. Sorry, I can't go with you. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Ah, yes, I see. Well then, okay. Bye. 
He's gone. Minutes go by, and it never leaves you that you know this place. And this boy, too. Like, have you been here? This is Bull. Deciding to take a break from such thoughts, you went for a walk. Somewhere, maybe to a cafe. As you walked along, you pondered the same. <gasps> oh, Booba snacks! I want some of those. Even if Booba is the worst of the three starters. Don't be sorry, buddy, but we all know it's true. The best one is Charmeleon. Charmeleon? No, Charmander, he's the original one. Oh man, I am such a bad fan. On your way out, you decided to stop at the store to buy yourself a drink. Looking around the shelves, you wondered what to get. Boo! Ah! What the hell are you? Oh my god, are you sick? Why are you scaring me like this? Who would have thought I could scare you? Looking for something to eat? And you don't care what happens to that boy, you. Wait, where are you from? My name is Sabbath. Nice to meet you. And your question is, how do I know? Oh, well, I know a lot of things. What you eat, when you go to bed, and much more. What do you want from me? How could I help that boy? I don't even know him. You know, you just don't remember it. I'm just giving you a choice. Either you go and help, or you'll find out. You know what, buddy? I'm gonna find out, thank you very much. Well, you yourself, you've decided your own fate. Wait, before I go, give me the bulba snacks. I don't think I got my snacks, did I? Ah, oh, man. You know what I've just realised? This drink quite literally has our name on it. Do you reckon I get them for free then? Anyway, more importantly, it is time for me to help. Okay, okay. If you want it so badly. I don't know what you're so worried about. Don't be stupid. You'll see for yourself. I will ask just one question before I do. When will I remember everything? It's the first time I've seen such impatient people. I don't know how to say this, but uh, the memory will come back when you wake up. What? Wake up? Huh? I'm a standing NPC to give you your dialogue. Just go. I'm afraid while you're thinking here, you'll discover two Americas. Okay. Bye, Sabbath. See ya. You. You came to the same park. Just when the sun appeared, it got light. You looked around for the boy. You were looking for him. But then you saw something behind a tree. Is that him? You ran to the tree and looked. You looked around for the boy. Oh, buddy, what happened to you? And there it is, right in front of you. You were glad he was there, checking his pulse, realizing he was alive. You looked at him and held your breath. Some kind of shiver ran through your body. The realization that your head is spinning and my eyes have gotten all... Nothing. You're losing consciousness. But that was unfortunate timing. Hey, honey. Wake up. Wake up! Aha! Is everything alright? I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Leon? Yup, you fell so sharply. I was scared. Remind me, why are we here? Ah, you're all grown up again. 
We wanted to have a pajama party, and we wanted to buy cereal. Oh, yeah. Oh, there they are. Are you sure you're okay? I'm worried. Liam is okay. Don't worry about me. If I feel bad, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm worried. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see me in costume at home, huh? Let's see if I do better. I'm sure it's sweet. Everything always looks good on you. Lee, come on. So what do you reckon was our true ending from the first game then? I'm gonna laugh if it was the one where we got tied to a bed. And now we're currently experiencing Stockholm Syndrome. And that is why we're okay having a pajama party with Liam. Okay, I admit it. I do feel bad for Liam. Decimus is really a bit of an ass, huh? Not a very good friend. If you enjoyed your time here, I'd greatly appreciate you like this video and subscribe to this channel. But over now, you're a spooky day. I'll catch you next time, guys.